Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Mike here, Mike's Other Page. It is Thursday night, June the 15th. Tropical update time. This is our 5 o'clock somewhere little update. We have something to talk about. Very rare to have something in June. It has happened before, but, but we have something now. We have this little guy here. It looks like a big banana, right? But it's a wave coming off of Africa. The... Uh, NHC is marking it, giving it a 20% chance to develop in the next seven days. So there you go. It's going to be uh, taking its taking its time to cross the Atlantic Ocean. But it's official. We have something to watch. Um, timing puts it somewhere around the Lesser Antilles, uh, maybe the 22nd. So you got you almost have a whole week from from where it is now to where it's going to be this time next week. This is what it looks like up close. This is um, obviously America and Africa. There's our little system right here. Uh, there's a bigger convection blob behind it, but it's just this little guy right here. It just came off of Africa. If you go to the windy site here, this is your lower level winds, and you can kind of see the low pressure spin a little bit right here, a little bit of low level spin. Um, this is the intertropics convergence zone. This is where the winds from the south meet the winds from the north. and Sometimes they help systems get spinning. So this is kind of where it's at. We'll see what it does. Let's take a look at the models, latest models. We go to tropicaltidbits.com. Uh, they slowly been sh showing this possibility of a system. We've been talking about it for uh, several days now here at Mike's weather page. But here's a Euro. We're going to look at all these models from tropicaltidbits.com. But it, as you can see, the, the bluer pressures are lower pressures. And, uh, you know, through the week chance of some slow development nearing the northern part of the island sometime around the 22nd next next week could be named could be brett um and then where it goes after that man it's hard to tell uh wind shear is very common this time of year that's your upper level winds not a lot of confidence that this thing might you know turn into anything too strong but with the waters being warm, which I'm going to show you here, there's, there's some questions. So we need to watch this one a little extra close. Um, like I said, it's very uncommon to see a wave in June try to make its way across uh, the Atlantic, usually because the waters are cooler. And I'm going to show that here in a second. But all the models are showing support, um, even the old GFS. Now, the GFS is showing something else here I need to bring up that I don't want people getting too wor worked up about. Um, but it's been showing some sort of system pulling up from the uh, Caribbean here. And it is the only model showing that. Such a sh small chance. So don't get all worked up if you see somebody sharing a GFS model. It, it's been awful last year, and it's been awful this year. But it is at least showing our system here, the 22nd, as is the Canadian model uh, right here. You know, a little weaker. And then our Icon model also showing it um, nearing the islands pulling up a little bit so all, it's good support this thing's going to try to cross the atlantic now we look at things like ensembles here these are your tracks uh, these are all the members of the european model there's 51 of these little guys and you can see there's quite a few of them coming across and look that same area of the gfs showing only one out of 51 that's very low odds so if you do your math one out of 51, low, 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 low chances anything in the Gulf that the GFS is showing. Our main focus is going to be this wave coming across here the next week. But where it goes after um, that 10 days, this is where all the models are showing in 10 days. Uh, it's anybody's guess. You know, uh, there's a frontal line maybe setting up. This thing might curve northward. It could just kind of go through the mountains and get tore up. It could go into the Caribbean. Too far to know. Uh, important thing to note though is most of these are around a thousand millibars which indicates a weaker system nothing too strong more rainmaker than anything else another model we can look at are your 15 day ensembles this looks out 15 days and as you can see most of these if you look at the color guards up here uh, 105 millibars gray green is a thousand a thousand five those are tropical swarm range dark blue is in the hurricane range and there's a couple of them yes most of the stronger systems pull and curve uh, again, way too early to speculate anything. We're kind of in unchartered waters. Get it? <laughs> um, because the water's so hot. I got some maps. Hang hang with me here for a second. All right. Great graphic put together by the Weather Channel here. This shows you we've only had four systems in the month of June. 
that have formed out here in the middle Atlantic. Uh, Anna in 1979. Elsa in 2021. I got to show you that here in a second. Unnamed 1933. And then Brett 2017. So we've had four, but that's since 18, like 51. <laughs> uh, here's typically where you see your activity in June. Almost nothing here uh, in the Atlantic, all Caribbean. And in July, we sometimes start to see this. So you can see we're way ahead of schedule. Let me show you some water temperatures. All right. This is your weekly water temperature anomaly map. This is uh, where we are in a normal 30-year uh, average is what they use. The reason all this chatter is about the water temperatures, they call this the MDR, the main development region, and it is 5 degrees above normal. That's unheard of. The Gulf's warming back up. It's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5 degrees above real soon again. So all this water is creating ocean heat content, water below the surface. So very warm waters. Uh, we are entering something called El Nino. El Nino has a lot of wind shear, but usually El Nino years don't have hot water. So there's really, even the, the top scientists really don't know what's going to happen this year. That's why we got to watch close. One of the years that um, we can compare something to here, let me look back here. This is 2015. So there a lot of comparison to 2015 to where we are now. The El Nino is basically uh, a region in the Pacific that they measure temperature wise. So we, they're comparing this year to 2015. This week in 2015, you can see the blues and the whites and the light yellows, meaning that things were about normal. They're a little bit below, below normal. So same El Nino year in 15, the waters were a lot cooler. And uh, that's kind of what's got everybody um, questioning. So there we are now. And there we are then. So we'll see. Uh, we did have a storm. Let me, let me bring up uh, Elsa. This was in 2021. Kind of recent, right? Uh, it technically uh, started on June 30th, uh, two weeks past now. But it came up around. It, it was briefly a hurricane. It was a tropical storm. It came through the Caribbean. This is 2021, just two years ago. And it ultimately came up on the side of Florida. And it, for a brief moment, uh, it was a hurricane. It never really made it. We... Um, uh, we had hurricane watches up for Florida. This is just two years ago, uh, if you remember. And we even had hurricane warnings up, but the storm kind of went poof. Uh, I was out tracking it. I don't know if you remember or not, but uh, we had a, 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 a suppressed stage of the MJO, uh, some other factors, and it just kind of fizzled out. But anyway, there it goes. It was early part of July. Oh, uh, let's see here. And here's the water temperatures for that year. I went ahead and pulled them up just to compare 2021. And you can see the waters were a little above normal for Elsa. Not where we're at now. So we'll keep an eye on it. Here's what it could look like. Uh, this is the latest Euro infrared. We got a lot of people watching down in the islands. This is the 21st, 22nd. So definitely keep your eyes on it. Um, well, we're going to watch it this next week progress. We'll get a better handle on things in a few more days once it gets out on the open water. But, you know, could be something, definitely. We'll keep an eye on it. Here's uh, our latest MWP shirt. You can go to Mike's Rare page. There's an MWP shop top on the top. And here we got the names. You can see that Brett is the next name on the list here. And if you go back to the page, right up top, shop MW gear. Get your official 2023 MWP shirt. So there you go. We're tracking this. I'll be talking about it tomorrow morning in the Daily Brew Friday. 919 and we got a lot a lot of a lot of time to watch this one and uh, like i said we're in unchartered waters get it <laughs> have a great night see it